Each week, Wells Fargo Bank brings us stories of athletes who have overcome adversity in their lives to succeed in school and in sports. Robert, tonight's story is about a mother's love and dedication for her son. Her goal was to help the Bishop O'Dowd track star earn a college scholarship. It turned out that was the easy part. They say champions are made when nobody is watching and success does not come without hard work. When these two things come together, you have Eugene Hamilton III, an 18-year-old nationally ranked track star who did not start running until his sophomore year of high school. One of the coaches found him and said, you know, you should be running. You know, maybe you shouldn't be involved in contact sports, but you should be running. My first experience for track, I was not very enthused to run. I actually was terrified on my mind my first meet. He won that race, and it's been like that ever since. Eugene is currently in his senior year and has amazed his coaches with his improvement these past three years. Gene's biggest fan is his mom, Regina. While she is thrilled with her son's success, just as he was signing his letter of intent to attend the University of Arizona, Regina found out she had breast cancer and a suspicious ovarian cyst. An absolute shock. There's um, a history of it in my family, but I didn't think at my age that I would be susceptible to that. I remember one day my mom just sort of, you know, broke it to me. She said, hey, you know, I've just been diagnosed with cancer and, you know, things might start getting a little hectic around here. So, you know, I, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. You know, I feel like we can definitely pull through this. Eugene's mature personality and outlook on the situation amazed his mom, making Regina feel better about the scary diagnosis. Eugene looked me squarely, you know, in the eyes, you know, no tears, you know, no hugging, nothing. And he said, OK. He said, don't worry about this. You know, it's just, you know, something that your doctor told you. Well, usually when people think of cancer, they're usually associated with death. And I just, you know, did my best to keep a positive attitude the entire time. You know, whenever I think of my mother, you know, I never back down from her. I'm always saying, hey, I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing this for myself. Despite Regina's diagnosis and surgeries, she still manages to be there for her son, supporting him in the stands and is always shooting either still pictures or video of his races. Eugene is thankful for his mom's abundance of love and support. Regina is the driving force in encouraging him to be better every day. I mean, having that extra support just sort of gives me the confidence to move forward. You know, it's definitely helpful. She's always helped me along, you know, when I forget things, when I sort of need that extra support to just keep moving forward. Eugene's positive outlook and work ethic on the track have led to his quick improvement in scholarship to Arizona. I think a lot of his characteristics and a lot of his uh, demeanor and who he's become as a man has kind of come from his mom. His toughness, uh, his strengths, his work ethic, and has carried very well to the track. Gosh, that's it's extremely exciting thinking about going to the next level. Um, you know, I feel prepared, and this is what I'm training for right now. And despite Regina's recent diagnosis, there is no stopping this proud mom from being there for the important events in Eugene's life. I'm hoping that Eugene goes to state this year. I'm hoping to be the person to drop him off at Arizona. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to be at his you know, graduation. It's a special bond between a mom and a son. It's Regina and Eugene Hamilton fighting to win every race, no matter what gets in their way. Regina is going through all sorts of medical treatments for her cancer. Meantime, Gene is tearing up the track and looking forward to his next year at the University of Arizona. Yeah, two wonderful people and wish them all the best. As I they do go too. I mean, so much fun to meet such a close mom and son. Yeah, absolutely.